With me here today, I have Lieutenant Colonel Connie Hansen. Welcome. Thank you very much. So, uh, what do you do in your professional life? I work for the Swedish Armed Forces. Okay, so uh, you basically get to do actual planning in real life, not in, just in a game? No, I've done it quite extensively in real life in Afghanistan, where we had close to 150,000 troops, and I worked for the headquarters there. So, Connor, you got the task to try out the United States from the starting scenario in 1936. Well, the strength, as everybody knows, when it comes to the United States is... Um, industry. Industry yeah. and uh, research and so on. So I have uh, started out improving my industrial uh, capacity. I'm looking forward to get some radars because I want victory in the Pacific before I enter with any major force in the European theater. I see you're preparing some kind of invasion here. That's correct. I'm allied with the Philippines and I was surprised attacked by the Japanese. So I'm planning to invade the island of Formosa or Taiwan. I will start with the naval invasion. And we can see they're activating now on the map as well to yeah. see who's coming. I'm using four different harbors to achieve some sort of surprise element, hopefully. Yeah. And then I will order the paratroopers to go. I will do that now. And yeah, there you go. Yeah, now they'll be pretty weak until you have a... Yes. And I don't dare to do any, any attacks. They will be attacked, yeah. yeah. Maybe we were a bit early with those, but now no. you have your Marines landing here. Because yeah. they were busy with the paratroopers, of course. Yes. But this combat's looking pretty good. It looks like you're getting the port now. Port is secure. So um, even though there was quite a lot of Japanese troops on there, it went pretty well. Nice combination of different forces. What I will do next is uh, take away all these fancy troops that are my elite units and prepare them for the next island hopping and replace them with the lesser units that I can afford to garrison there. But now you were in a situation where uh, you're going to have to take the Japanese mainland, but also Europe has basically fallen to Germany. I think I can manage in the European theater as well. The UK is still there. I've also tried to develop my strategic air, so hopefully I can do a little bit as I did historically. Uh, Bomb everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> as I said, I don't want to be outgunned. No. Cool. So, um, what, what are your thoughts? What, what do you think about Warm 4? It, it's a great game. I really enjoy playing it, and I will definitely keep playing it. You can use the principles of war in this game and you can actually be successful. That's what I try to be um, pretty historical when I develop my forces and uh, try to think as I do in my professional life. And uh, if you combine air, ground and maritime forces, uh, you're successful. Thanks for, for trying the game. Thanks. <laughs>